I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. I've seen the parents of all the victims. And all I've come up with is this telephone and a box of origami figures. <sighs> Can't breathe this goddamn humidity. Hope it stops raining soon. All the newspapers are talking about Sean Mars, the kid who disappeared. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Can I come in? Sure. You want a drink? Yes, glass of water, please. Take a seat, I'll get it. Didn't really expect to see her again. Wonder what she wants. Thanks. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. 
And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Oh, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for your help, Lauren. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. I'm sorry, Lauren, but that is out of the question. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous, and I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope may be your only link to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lauren. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> We're partners. <laughs>